Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronix29 and this tutorial I'll be showing how you can easily edit your portrait when it comes to Photoshop. So this is going to be focusing only on color grading when it comes to color grading or editing your raw images when it comes to Photoshop. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel. So we have imported a raw image in Photoshop and as soon as you open a raw image in Photoshop, it is going to automatically open up the camera raw filter so this is the raw image that we're working with you can see right here we have cr2 so what i want to do i want to show you i can easily first of all process or color correct your raw image in camera raw so the very first thing you have to do is simply correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding the photo that you're going to color grade so first of all take the highlights down to recover information in the brightest areas and we're also going to take the whites down just like that then we're going to come and add contrast to the image because i felt or oh, i shoot the images without any contrast and i prefer to add it in post-production or during editing now take the blacks down to add more contrast to the image so i feel like this is okay and the image looks better now so after correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very photo or regarding this image i'll come and slightly warm up the image around 5500 kelvins i feel like that is okay then after creating the contrast and lighting issues the next thing is going to be coming down to our color mixer option or you can call it the hue saturation and luminance in camera or if at all you use you are using lightroom so I'm going to come to hue saturation and luminance by using hues you have changed a given color you can see you can make the reds more orange you can or you can make the reds more like the magentas then saturation is the intensity of a given color you can see you can increase the intensity of the reds or you can reduce on the intensity of the reds then luminous is how bright or how dark you want a color to be you can either make the reds dark or you can make the reds bright so after understanding that we are going to go straight into looking at the image and analyzing it so for this we just want to manipulate the greens in this photo so we are going to come to the hues right here and simply play around with the hues of the greens and the yellows so you are going to come and take the greens just up and you're going to look at the yellows and see what works best for us so i feel like about here we are going to make the yellows more towards the oranges I feel like that is okay and it makes the image pop a little bit more so we're going to come to the saturation and simply desaturate the greens because they looked over saturated for our liking i feel like this is fine and it is about fine so we are going to come to the luminous and simply darken the oranges you can see we just want to add a tiny bit of contrast to the skin tone by darkening the oranges remember skin tones always land or fall in the orange section or the reds and we are going to come back to the hues and simply take out the reds from the skin tone by making the reds close to the oranges just around three and i feel like that is about okay and it looks great so after creating the lighting and contrast issues regarding the image the next thing is going to be opening the photo in photoshop for us to do the next color grading process so just come and click on open and the image is going to open in photoshop for us to do the next adjustment so i'm just going to crop the image so i prefer to crop in a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10. so this is not a retouching video we're just going to be focusing on color grading so i've just cropped cropped the image so what we want to do in this case we just want to create a nice and even skin tone for our subject so in order to do this always duplicate the background there so after doing the color corrections always retouch before you do the step you are going to do so always do the skin retouching before heading into the step we are about to do so we are just going to duplicate the background layer and if at all you have been retouching and have a number of layers you can either flatten the layers or you can duplicate or create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e on the keyboard for mac then for windows is shift 
alternate control E on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer like we have in this case. So after creating this layer, you're simply going to come to the adjustments and come to gradient map. And don't mind if at all it is displaying any other random color right here. So don't mind about the color. So what we have to do, click on this icon right here. Make sure this icon is selected and make sure you turn off the gradient layer by clicking on this visibility icon. So after we have done that, the next thing is going to be coming to the properties. And if at all your gradient map is not showing these properties or this line right here, just come to window and simply come and measure properties is checked. So when you come to properties, simply left click on the color option and it's going to open up the gradient editor. And as soon as it opens up the gradient editor, simply come to the sample and make sure the sample is set 5 by 5 average and sample all layers is checked and make sure sample sampling ring is also checked in this case. After doing that, come back to the gradient editor and you can see that we have these pointers, the left hand and the right hand pointer. And after that, make sure the gradient is set to solid and smoothness is set to 100%. So left click on this pointer on the left hand side. So left click on it and it's going to choose that color. Make sure the location is set to zero. Then left click once again on the color option and choose a darkest point of the model skin tone. So you have to choose what you feel is the darkest color in the skin tone. Don't choose a black point, just choose a darkest color onto the model skin tone. So I feel like that is okay. And I'm just going to click okay. And I'm just going to choose click on the right hand pointer. Make sure the location is set to 100. So just type in 100. Then left click once again and choose the brightest point of the skin tone. So I'll use that so you can just drag that in a little bit. And we're just going to click OK. Then you're going to click in the middle right here and type the location. So click 50, type in 50. Then left click once again and choose what you feel should represent the mid tone. So I feel like about here. That is the mid-tones that we have. So I'm just going to choose a little bit here is OK and click OK. So you can see that we have mapped the colors from this very skin tone and we have placed it on this line right here. So after doing that, just come and click OK. Come and turn this layer on and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color. And you can see it has created this nice and better skin tone but this is not what we are looking at in this case we want the effect only affect the skin tone so in order for it, for the effect to affect only a skin tone what we want to do in this case so just going to come and click on this gradient layer and after we have selected it just drag and drop it in this folder icon to put it in a group so after putting it in a group you're just going to close the group and come back to this backup player and when you come to the backup player so if at all you have a number of, of images from the same photo shoot and the scene is still the same just drag this group and place it over the photos that you are so just left click on it and drag it and place it over the photos that you want to color grade from the same shoot or from the same model so after doing that we're just going to come back to this layer and now select it then come to select and simply come to subject and photoshop is going to automatically select for us the subject remember we only want the effect only affect the model and photoshop has done a pretty quick job for us so after it has done that simply come to this masking icon and simply click on the layer mask icon so just come and click on this icon and it's going to create a layer mask so after it has created this layer mask the next thing is going to be you can see that the mask has been created so after it has been created you are simply going to drag this layer mask and simply drag this layer mask onto the group so just drag it and place it over the group and you can see it is only and only going to be affecting the model so in order to refine this better you are simply going to come and select this layer mask and with the layer mask selected you are simply going to come right here to the brushes and get the normal brush tool 
So with the brush tool selected, anything is going to be. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. And if at all you have any other random color on these color swatches, you can press D on the keyboard. You can simply left click on these two color swatches. So to eliminate color from a given area, what we want to do, we are simply going to come and make sure white, black is the foreground color. So you can switch between black and red by using this option. So we are using the brush tool and the settings for the brush, hardness at zero. Then the mode, make sure the mode is set to normal, opacity in the flat 100%, and make sure you have these two color swatches, black and white. Like I said, to reset, you can press D on the keyboard. So to eliminate color from some areas that you don't want to be affected, you can simply use a black brush and paint over the areas you don't want to be affected by the color grading. So I'm just going to come and paint just like that. So by using this brush, we are basically trying to eliminate color grading from the areas you don't want to be affected by the color grading. So I'm just going to come and paint on the pants to reveal the original color of the pants. So just take your time and it would be better if I told you did this with a retouching tablet or a graphics tablet because it's going to make this process better and quicker and also faster. So I'll just come to the model's top and also eliminate color from the top because that was initially a black top. So just come and take our time trying to do this. So I'm just going to paint on only the top just like that and you can see it is deleting or eliminating the color from the model's top. So I'm just going to do this. You can now zoom in and eliminate color even better. So we are basically using a white brush to eliminate color from the area that we do not want to be affected uh, by the color grading. So take your time as you're doing this. So right now you can see that the skin is looking better and even, but don't forget to eliminate the colors from the eyes or even the eyebrows or even the lipstick. So that the lipstick or the lips or the makeup is not changed or distorted. So right now we have created even skin tone for this model. This is a before, after, you can say before and after. Right now the skin looks better and it looks even. So after doing this, the next thing is going to be adding a touch to this image. So if I told the color grading is too much, always come the opacity and simply reduce on the opacity of the color grading of the skin tone. So right now we are done working on the skin. So the next thing is going to be perfecting the color grading. So we're going to come to the selective color adjustment layer right there and simply come and select blacks and simply add some science to the blacks just like that to make the blacks a little bit more cinematic and you can even increase on the intensity of the blacks by increasing the blacks in the image so after you have done that the next thing is going to be simply coming and reducing on the saturation of the skin tones just come to hue and saturation come and select the reds because skin tones fall among the reds and come the lightness and take the lightness of the reds down just like that reduce on the saturated or the overly saturated skin tone so we are simply going to come and create one final adjustment layer which is the black and red adjustment layer and come and change the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply take down the opacity so what this is going to do it is going to add more contrast to the model's skin so this is what i've been able to achieve in just photoshop so this is the image before after for only the Photoshop color grading that we have been able to do. So this is how you can easily color grade in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. And if I told you have enjoyed this, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if I told you are watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.